about me, Magnus? What about me? My, my, my. I can help. I want to help. What about me? Welcome back to T and Toys. Now we've got Blur, the fastest car on wheels. This is one of my childhood characters that I had growing up, so I've always been a Blur fan. It's the blue. His name's Blur, and he talks fast. What, kind, what is there not to like? So okay, so the original Transformers animated movie studio series Blur. Quick spin of the box. There's his space car mode. All right, let's not delay. Let's get him out. Next up, we have Blur out of his box. Now, Light Cup Blur has light piping, but for Blur, it doesn't matter that much. Like his blues don't affect the eyes, whereas on Cup, they just look like big black pits in his head, which I didn't like. But here we have Blur. Now, a lot of people raved about Blur. Again, Blur's got a similar shoulders to Jazz. But for me, let's just cover the accessories quickly. Obviously, it comes with instructions. Cross sell by Jazz by Cup. I don't think there's anything extra on there as well. No. It comes with his rifle, which he uses to blast Decepticons out. The Battle of Autobot City. Like so. But it's not blasting there. And his repair. Uh, arm, uh, hand attachment, which he uses on Junkie Arm, I believe, when they're repairing the ship for the first time, just for it to get blown up again. Um, but yeah, okay, with Blur, now I know it's a part of the transformation sequence, but, and he had this in the original figure, but they did, they were more flush to the arm, but in the 80s, the arm couldn't do this, couldn't do that. Um, I'm not sure if I like these big Dustbusters on his arms. And also, they're a bit loose as well. They just keep dropping down on my version as well. Um, now, although he's got... Oh, sorry, I don't want to bloody break it. Hand swivel articulation. But you can't do much with it because you've got the Dustbusters just in the way. So you can't have him sort of doing like cool poses like 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 so well that does buster so it won't obviously clip into there and it'll just sort of dangle like that so i'm not the biggest fan of the dust busters and the reason for this obviously spinning like i said that's for the transfer that's to help for the transformation so when you spin the arms that they spin as well uh it just i don't know it just affects what you can do with his posability i guess Our old blur here and also a bit of a fan favourite from the Transformers animated show, which is, oh God, it's come out, it's like over 10 years old, man. Maybe even older than that. Great show, great show. But then we have Blur in his robot mode. Looking pretty cool. Now, always been a fan of Blur. Now, he is a cool looking figure, you know, I mean, he's mostly going to be displayed, so probably sort of stood static like that, because currently the display cabinet is getting packed, so probably need to fork out for another cube. Other than the thing with the hands and the arms, he's all right, he's all right, he's good blur. I had the Generations blur for a long time. I did enjoy that figure. Was tempted with the Titans one, but I didn't want a blur with it. That was a headmaster. That was a big no-no for me. Like, like with Perceptor. I didn't want a headmaster Perceptor, but that's the only one that's available currently. And so I thought I'd wait. Kept hold of the Generations one. Obviously, rumours got dropped about Studio 86. Man, that Generations 1 hit eBay quicker than you can say hit eBay. I couldn't think of a good analogy, so I'll just say hit eBay. Yeah, he's all right. He's good. He's a good little figure. Let's get him side by side with Generations RC. Obviously, he's a little bit of an older, older figure compared to the Earthrise Kingdom 1. I'm not sure if his head's too rectangular shaped. But I'm more okay with it than I was with Cup. A bit, bit more harsh with Cup. There he is with Springer. Always love Blur. It's the blue. He's a weird, crazy space car thing. Yeah, so big fan of Blur. Glad I got a Blur. Long, it's been a long time since I've owned a Blur that I really liked. Like the Generations one, it was, it, it was what it was. Another cool thing in rump mode, you can actually store the um, repair device 
on his back using his uh, nose of his vehicle mode. So you can just have the rifle out. You don't have to have the repair thing on his arm at all times. Let's get him in vehicle mode. Okay, so here we have Blur in his vehicle mode, which I've done wrong looking at that. No, it just doesn't clip in there properly. Um, yeah, not the most fun transformation. A bit fiddly, I'm not going to lie. Didn't overly enjoy that. And what I did notice, although he looks all right static. like a, he, He's like a hover type car, but he does have wheels. Like Even in the original cartoon, he is depicted to have wheels because they get shot off in um, one episode. And he sort of gets hit and they sort of roll off. And this obviously, this see this bit? This keeps popping off here. As I'm talking, just pops off. Just pops off. Uh, I think it can clip in anywhere else. No, it doesn't. It just yeah, it just it just pops off. A bit annoying. Um, is there's no casters, no little wheels to so you can use him as a car. Now I know a lot of collectors are going to pick this up, but kids are also going to want to have, have this bought for them as well. These, these things are sold in normal toy shops. I'm surprised they haven't made it so it can actually be used as a car for children that want to play with it. Like me as an adult collector, I'm not that fussed. Um, but yeah, no casters. That's kind of a downer. The original had casters. This one doesn't. And although I do like, it looks good static. So it looks like he's like hovering, so you can have him sort of well, put him in there, maybe racing around there, like so. And you can attach, the cool thing again, what they've done here, you can attach both weapons. Oh, sorry, accessories. It's a repair device, not a weapon. Now, I think the problem with that is, although you can store it in vehicle mode, although he's not meant, he's not designed to run along, he's meant to be hovering, going super fast, but the, the gun sort of scrapes as well. So that is touching the surface. Although it's actually bent just up just then. But, although that's bent up, out of the way, the uh, repair device is scraping. So, yeah. yeah. Blur's vehicle mode, it is what it is. It's G1, which is good. Missing Haywire, though. I, I would have liked the Target Masters, although they're not in the movie. You know, they're going to release these, you know, a year down the line with the Target Masters. But it is what it is. Let's get him back to robot mode. Blur back in his robot mode. Yeah, the vehicle mode is, it is what it is. Obviously the transformation with the Dustbusters is there and it's just something you have to live with unless they do an amazing replacement in like 20 years time. <laughs> we have to wait a long time for this one. I can't see myself picking up any more just yet. Um, so yeah, I, I'm happy. I've got Blur at long last. Um, vehicle mode is what it is. Space Cybertronian type car thing and yeah uh, looking forward to hot rod and scourge dropping so don't forget to like and subscribe on one rumble on bitshoot and still on youtube and i'll see you guys in the next video